Here are the top 10 Xbox Game Pass multiplayer titles available to play with others in a variety of differing ways. Be sure to like the video. Subscribing is great as well, and I do believe these titles should last quite a while on the service, if not indefinitely for, you know, some of the first party stuff and whatnot. So first up, we've got Halo the Master Chief Collection. This one is an outstanding multiplayer experience. You can play all of the campaigns and cooperative multiplayer action, or you can engage in an absolutely massive collection of everything that is Halo. There's well over a hundred maps, there's Forge maps, there's custom games, there's just a ton of ways to play all of the Halo games multiplayer mashed together in one absolutely massive exciting package. This just is filled to the brim with high octane, fast paced Halo shooting action that you probably know and love or could be introduced to for the first time. This is Chivalry 2. Ah, it's, it's a lot of screaming. It's essentially Battlefield, but with knights, large scale, objective focused night based combat. There's some, you know, kind of like deathmatchy type things, but for the most part you're fighting to siege and take castles or positions or, you know, kill the heir to the throne and everything like that. Lots of different choices with brutal, bloody, violent combat that you can enjoy across a massive selection of maps that they just keep adding to. This really is a beautiful looking game, it's very visually detailed and it is a ton of fun to play. This game is very, very good. An absolute blast to jump into for a group. It's a great time. Yeah. There's even, you know, you can pick up different objects and throw them at people. And, you know, they've got some horses now. It's really, really just quite a majestic uh, bloodbath, quite honestly. Speaking of that, here's Insurgency Sandstorm. So, this is a very tactical type of shooter where you literally can die from like a single bullet getting shot at you. So, this one I kind of compared to like Call of Duty, but tactical. It probably isn't really fair to call it, you know, like Call of Duty, but I try to give you a basis of comparison. So just think of that gameplay type and just kind of throw it into a situation where you actually have to be careful. You have to be coordinated. You have to work together as a team in order to capture the objectives and move forward. There's been a steady drop of new maps and content. And yeah, like I said, you can get dropped like a rock by like a single bullet. <laughs> you can't even react, which is wild because, you know, you got to be careful. You're going to move around the corner strategically. How are you going to tackle the different scenarios and levels and designs that are available as you compete against others in this fast-paced really intense tactical multiplayer experience it's a great time high recommend for sure and sea of thieves the ultimate pirate adventure go out there finding others for well randoms or go in with a group of pals as you sail the seven seas there are missions there's quests there's loot to gather puzzles or well riddles to solve treasure to dig up music to play on your various instruments that's I, I spend a lot of my time in this game playing music and uh, and drinking ale. That's just the way we go. But yeah, you get to enjoy this really, really beautiful, highly detailed, in-depth pirate adventure where it's, again, basically a pirate simulation. It is a lot of fun to play. It's a very, very good time, and it just continues to get updated. And it's very good co-op action and also some pretty good PvP action as well if you do run into some opposing ships and forces out there while you are sailing about exploring. Arr! This is Dead by Daylight, an asymmetrical multiplayer experience where a group of four survivors try to survive against one killer. <gasps> Who will make it? Who will die? You need to fix generators in order to get to a gate that you can open to escape. The killer is trying to throw you on hooks to end your life. This game has a scary amount of IP involved in it, which is genuinely impressive. I actually don't think this game gets enough credit for just the wide variety of actual horror franchises from movies to games that are thrown into this. Like, we've got Resident Evil, we've got Silent Hill, we've got, like, Michael Myers, there, you, you know what I mean? Like, there's really, really cool stuff in this one, and this one's a lot of fun. You can just sit here and spend hours and hours trying to use various perks to build up a good class that will let you escape the 
the monsters that are trying to end your run and end your life. It's quite well done. This is Among Us, so yeah, this one still has a lot of fun party action to it, where you're going about on a variety of ships trying to fix things, and also trying not to get killed while figuring out who is sus. Sus in being suspicious, because there is a killer, or maybe a few killers, among you. Get it? Among Us? Yeah? So yeah, you're trying to fix things on the ship, get your objectives done, try not to let the others vote you out, because other people will try to throw off the scent or, well, basically will just try to get people killed and you'll have to cut through the chatter in order to figure out what exactly is going on as you move about, again, these various ships trying to be like, hey, who's the bad guy? Who's good among us? Oh, land, the power and the oxygen's going out. How do we fix this? And trying to survive to the end of the game and throw that person out the airlock. This is Gears 5. The Gears of War multiplayer has always been a fast-paced, great aspect of, well, basically Xbox multiplayer action. You will compete in a variety of differing modes, a lot of them objective-focused, some of them just kind of focused around killing, as you aim to eliminate the opposing forces in a variety of very brutal ways that are typically all centered around using the Nasher. But yeah, this multiplayer is still going quite strong. It's got a good selection of maps that you can enjoy. It's a blast to play. It's very competitive. It's very action-packed. It's just uh, great. I mean, it's sort of the continued refinement of what is a very excellent multiplayer experience that many do enjoy, and I definitely recommend trying it out if you haven't in the past. And if you're maybe trying to look at returning for Gears, it is a healthy community of players that are out there blasting gnashing, and in general, chainsawing each other to bits in order to win. This is Star Wars Battlefront 2, and yeah, you can still get out there on the battlefront that is basically like Battlefield, but you know, with Star Wars stuff thrown over it. There is a plethora of differing environments and planets and places for you to battle on from across the differing eras of Star Wars. It's got a bunch of different infantry types, it's got a variety of different vehicles, it's got a bunch of different game modes, also ones including you becoming some sort of hero like a Jedi and whatnot. You know, if you want to do that sort of thing. Some of the shooting guides are pretty good too, what can I say? But yeah, Battlefront 2 continues to bring fast-paced combative action on some really good game modes. Uh, you know, the supremacy mode is pretty great as you're aiming to uh, sort of go back and forth on the planets and then go up into space and kind of fight off and destroy the opposing ship. It is a pretty good way to tackle that sort of thing. I actually think they did a really good job with that game mode as it was a relatively later edition. This is DayZ. So this one is a little bit different of a multiplayer game because the other people are the terrifying part of it and that's what makes this so fun. It's a large-scale open world multiplayer focused experience where there are zombies trying to kill you and there's people trying to kill you but like the fun of this one really is the weird interactions that you have with other people online so it's not necessarily multiplayer focused in the fact that you're working at a team i mean you could end up doing that or it's not multiplayer focused and you're generally kind of competing against each other but it's like you're basically not even sure what others are going to be doing and it's a really neat sort of different multiplayer experience which is again what i'm trying to highlight is variety here as a something where it feels often that you're playing it alone but in reality there's always others out there trying to cause you problems this is the elder scrolls online if you like well skyrim or any of the other elder scrolls experiences you will most likely enjoy this one as it basically just makes it multiplayer like sure you could kind of play it alone and whatnot but the fun of the experience is taking the traditional setup and styling of the elder scrolls and making it you know a big massive multiplayer rpg game so it's a lot of fun to build different classes different characters different alliances work alone work with others there's big large scale like combative pvp on like these battlegrounds there is like just partying and working into like delves and doing all these different missions. There's fresh content every single year. There's a big expansion and it's just a really good time. 
So again, you know, liking the video is great, subscribing is great as well, and I hope you found some sort of new multiplayer experience to enjoy on Game Pass as the service continues to grow and delight.